Okay, so here's an updated video on the towel pants. We've been making these are a little two tees here that were made. All right, so we've been using pajama pants. We made a pattern, uh, mixing up the colors. So we use about two towels for each, depending. This size here is a 5T, so we were able to get um, a couple 5Ts and a 2T out of one towel. And then we mixed up the colors. So yeah. now we have our pattern cut out. First, we'll start with the one that we're going to put the pocket on. So here's our pocket. We just took some extra materials. And usually on most of them, I've been using the reverse color for the pocket. Uh, the pocket is folded underneath, about a quarter of an inch, and then pinned. And we go about an inch down from the crotch line um, in the middle of the leg uh, for this one here. So first we're going to start on our sewing machine. We're going to use our standard uh, stitch here. So we'll use the stitch A. We'll move this back up. Okay, and that's going to be for our pocket stitch. So let's start with that. So the second leg needs a seam down here. When we cut the towels out, we try to use as much of the factory seams as we can. It like makes it a little bit easier. This material ramble so much. doing here is folding the towel under a little bit before we make the hem and then pinning that fold roll over under this way the towel will not unravel when you wash them or hopefully prevent some of that from unraveling so we have an extra fold underneath of our hem and then we're pinning through both of them Two legs done. Okay, so pockets on, all hemmed up. Now we're going to sew the leg. Mm -hmm. 
inside out. So always make sure you sew the legs inside out. And make sure it's stuck at that top. And we're using a standard A stitch first. Mm -hmm. Zigzag stitch back over top of our single stitch. So you probably can't see that, but there's a zigzag on top of the straight stitch. All the way up to the crotch line. And then we stop. Okay, so now we're going to do the second leg. Reverse it. All right, both legs are done, so we're going to turn one inside out, or right side. And the one that you turn right side goes inside the one that's inside out. Okay, once again, the right side cow gets stuffed inside the inside out towel and then line it up with the seams so see the tie-dye glue on the inside we turn that one right side up and then stuff it inside the inside out towel leg and then we line the two towels up We're lining up from the crotch line And then what we'll do is we'll start from one side of the top and sew all the way around in a U. And this is still the to do a straight line. So back to our straight line. Try to fold that seam down flat. Go over top of it. I'm glad you got your nails done for the video. Yeah. 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 Got it twisting around to get around that. Alright, now we're going to go over top with the zigzag.
so it's all set up. So we're going to pull the legs out. Do, 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 do. This is where you find out whether or not you sewed the legs on backwards or right. Voila. Well, we need you here. I know, but I need to go. All right, so that's how it starts. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we need to do the elastic up on top. Go from back inside. Inside out again. Okay. So we have our elastic. And we measured the child's waist and left about a half inch so we can cross over and sew the elastic together in the end. I'm going to fold over the top so we have enough room to fish the elastic through once we sew it. I'm going to stitch this down. I'm going to add a stitch in. I'm going to add a stitch in so you can hold it down and keep it firm. seam is sticking up a little bit, so we're going to add a stitch in. Straight stitch. Straight stitch. Just enough to hold that seam. And stays up in three. So we're folding this over for enough room to be able to feed the elastic, which is measured to the waist. Okay, so now we're going to pin it. And what stitch are we starting with? Straight. This journey needs a straight. Because the hem's already hung, guys. I don't want to afraid. Again, left a hole. Okay. So, we're going to take a safety pin to put it on one end of the elastic. Just gives us something to hold while we're feeding it through. Okay. We are actually pinning this to the towels just so that we don't accidentally pull the whole elastic piece through once we get closer to the other end. So just a little caution pin on the other side.
Okay, now that the elastic is through, we stitch the two pieces together. And now we are adding the stitch to the elastic to the towel so that when you wash them, the elastic won't turn on That's you. That's fine. Mommy, come! Wait a minute, get your socks off. And that's our towel pants with a pocket for your goggles or pool toys or sun tan lotion, whatever.